the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, once again we are gathered around this Eucharistic table. Let us give thanks to the Lord for this grace of being able to come to Mass in person. Let us also ask for forgiveness for the many times that we wasted God's graces. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring, like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation or incense, no place to offer first fruits, to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus, he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Even 
now, says the Lord. Return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began his accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay, pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servant saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Obviously, the theme of our readings today is about forgiving. And we know from experience, it is not an easy thing to do. Ang hirap magpatawad. Ang hirap patawarin ng asawa mo na iniwan ka. Ang hirap magpatawad ng magulang na pinabayaan kayo. Ang hirap ng magpatawad ng kaibigan na nagtaksil sa'yo, nagbulgar ng iyong mga sikretong ipinagkatiwala mo sa kanya. Mas madali pa yung magalit eh. Mas madali pa yung mag-isip ng masama. It is not easy to forgive. But why do we have to forgive? Well, number one, that is what God wants. Yun ang gusto ng Diyos. Sa Ebanghelyong ating pinakinggan, sinasabi sa atin na hindi natin matatanggap ang kapatawaran kung hindi tayo marunong magpatawad. 
hindi tayo patatawarin ng Diyos kung hindi natin patatawarin ang ating kapwa. Kaya kapag nahihirapan kayo na magpatawad, sabihin niyo sa Panginoon, Lord, tulungan mo naman ako. No? Gusto mo ito eh. No? Ikaw ang may gusto nito eh. God wants us to forgive. That is the first reason. Unless your heavenly Father will not forgive you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. Ang pangalawa ay ito. God wants us to be happy and healthy. Kaya niya gusto tayong magpatawad kasi gusto niya tayong maging masaya. Gusto niya tayong maging malusog. You know that we are body and spirit and soul. Hindi lamang tayo purong katawan. Tingnan ninyo, kapag may dinaramdam kayo, magana ba kayong kumain? <laughs> kapag meron kayong iniisip, nakakatulog ba kayo ng maayos? Kasi may connection yung body at yung spirit at soul. We are not just body. We are composed of body, spirit, and soul. Kaya nga meron tinatawag na psychosomatic diseases or illness. Eh ang gusto ng Diyos ay eh, maging masaya tayo. Kaya tingnan nyo, kapag meron tayong kinikimkim na galit, sinong pinahihirapan natin? Yung kinaiinisan natin? Hindi. Ako, tayo, di ba? Sino na high blood? Yung kinaiinisan natin? Eh baka nga yung kinaiinisan natin, eh, ang himbing ng tulog eh. No? Sinong nahihirapan? Tayo. Tayong nagdadali. Tayong nagbubuhat eh. Sinong nahihirapan? Eh di yung nagbubuhat. O ipitiwan mo yan. Huwag mong buhatin. Huwag mong kargahin. Palayain mo ang sarili mo sa pagbubuhat ng bagay na hindi dapat buhatin. So, why would I forgive? One, because that is what God wants. And two, to be unforgiving, like smoking, is dangerous to your health. Forgive, and you will find happiness. Amen. Please stand. <coughs> Let us pray to God that we, <coughs> His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Lord, make us instruments of your peace that the Church, set free by the blood of Christ, may live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us instruments, instruments of, of your, your peace. peace, that Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of the one gospel of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us instruments, instruments of, of your, your peace, peace, that married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make, make us, us instruments, instruments of, of your, your peace, peace, that all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us instruments, instruments of, of your, your peace, peace, that the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us, us instruments, instruments of, of your peace, peace. In silence, let us pray for our own particular needs as well as for the intentions offered in this Mass.
Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy and help us to offer forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. And through goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time, for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Yes, yes, yes.